Capricorns, welcome. Doing a very special heart spread. So if I get you in there just right. Um, they'll call this October. It's, it's the October Mercury retrograde. So, I'm going to do a heart spread here. Got a special reading, I say. Kind of forensic reading, I say. Because I'm going to go back and look at something from the past. This is not meant to be in a, a relationship, you know, we're engaged in here, Capricorns. Um, this is a uh, theoretical relationship that's, uh, maybe this is the one that got away, you know. One, you know, we can be very happy with our soulmate. That's a lock. We're not worried. But still, maybe it's unresolved somehow. We know there's something to it. I always think it speaks to our soul's growth and, you know, that's just how it rolls, right? And that's relationships, how we grow. So if there's something sticking in our craw, it has some kind of meaning that we can uh, get out of it. We have to crack open the bone, suck out the marrow of the meaning. <laughs> um, in the name of light and love, so that serves the highest good. We're asking spirit, give us advice here. In terms of this Mercury retrograde energy, Often this is what hits you in like the retrograde while they talk about the X's. It's really about our own minds. This treasure trove. Thank you, Capricorn. I'm married to a Capricorn woman for 25 years. Best human being I've ever known. Rock solid. Respect. Our last pet died just a week ago or so. As you said, like in an email, I think that's the last uh, thing that uh, binds us like uh, okay so but that was amicable <laughs> um, and it's a big theme I've been getting with all of these readings except for one Scorpio is of letting go of the old relationships that don't serve us I mean they're the X for an X if I was meant to still be engaging with my wife even uh, 25 years I would be <laughs> wouldn't be an X so I used to at least have that faith in the universe so let's see where you're at in this four pinnacles. Well, you could kind of see that as a Capricorn card there, can't you? Four pinnacles this is where you're at right now. Standing and looking kind of away. I kind of like to see this as your energy. Uh, probably when this relationship started that you're thinking of, Capricorns. And I'm not surprised here because almost everyone, the relationship started like kind of at puberty. I'm seeing a little, every relationship so far uh, going back and people being thinking about this person that came in. Maybe like a first love, a first love. Maybe this is your first love. Maybe it's a little late. You know, you take your time. Young adulthood, solid. I see as being very like alone uh, when you meet this person. So let's see how they are. Holy moly, the Knight of Cups. They show up as the Knight of Cups. They're facing away from you though. So you're also facing away. So I see you facing away. That's the direction you're at. And they're really facing away too, your person. So this person you're thinking of We'll see what happens, but maybe you never even consummated anything with them. They were this unattainable dream person that you always kind of fantasize that you might have this relationship with. Or if you do go on to have a relationship, it's likely going to blow your mind. Usually by how actually they're totally different than, what you, <laughs> than the pedestal you put them on. But wow, that's a tremendous... So now what I'm looking at, this is you four pinnacles on your own, in your own energy, I kind of get that, you know, as a baseline. But now you're reacting to this person, this Knight of Cups that you find so fetching, perhaps a water sign, someone that's maybe very charming. And it's like you're kind of not built to pursue, but you just swoon over them. They make you weak. And you don't like even being weak, maybe. Look at all these pinnacles. But they, you have a strong, I would say that you have a strong feeling for them. You know, look how the chest is sort of opened and the coins are spilling out. I mean, for like a Capricorn, I'm not trying to be an asshole. For a Capricorn, it's kind of like take me energy. 
Yeah. It's like when a Capricorn really gives themselves, it's like, I don't need a prenuptial. I don't need a prenuptial. And then you know, oh my God, the Capricorn loves me. <laughs> so like a feeling too, just of being goners for this person, goners. Well, let's see how they're active to you. I can't wait to find out. Ace of Pentacles. I told you, you're just going to freak out if they turn around. I think this is them turning around, taking you very seriously. And they're kind of matching your energy here, Capricorn. That's very good. I mean, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, Earl Grey tea. Oh, nothing stronger than Bergamot and Stevia. So... Pretty much a turnaround. Um, somehow you let them know, uh, I don't know, male or female here, uh, batted your pretty eyelashes there, dude, <laughs> and turn their head around, turn their head around. And they kind of like uh, really are considering you here. Now remember, this is your person from the past, but they're taking you seriously. They're very sincere. And you're all in, Ten of Pentacles, all in. I got to clarify both of these. I don't want to go from the bottom. Let me shuffle a little bit. I want to clarify what it is you're feeling. I know you know what you're feeling, but I need to know. Uh, maybe you don't. I mean, that's kind of the issue here. Why is this person stuck in your head, Capricorn? I'm trying to get at. You know, I need to understand spirit. Tower. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles in the tower. I was going to say, something broke you up. Yeah, you put everything into this and brought the tower down. So, I mean, this is like, I get the feeling like you were at this point in your life, you were younger. I mean, you, you, you might have been in 29, you might have been in your Saturn return or something. This could be Saturn return, ding, 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 29, 30-ish, exact by your natal position. Um... And it kind of brings this relationship. This is how you feel about them. It's sort of like you burn yourself down. You bring yourself down by giving everything. And I just get the feeling, I want to say like a Libra would or something. Um, but I don't understand now, Spirit, because now they appear to be coming back to you and meeting you very strongly. What is that about? Four Cups. Knight of Cups. Bad thing about a Knight of Cups, it can be spurious energy, very romantic, romance phase, Neptunian. I don't know if you remember their date of birth. You know, you could look at a composite maybe, particularly. Uh, but this is the only thing this could be is your person comes in and they feel like, wow, and you're all in. And then it turns out that they're like a sunshine soldier, sunshine knight. Um, they're not sincere. They're not in for the long haul. Um, and they tell you that they're all in, you know, but this could be four months, four years in, you find out that they're not really all in emotionally, emotionally, four cups. So it's like them, you know, acting like they're all in here, Capricorn, but, but not actually being all in at all. Uh, and so you might have been operating in your Ten of Pentacles. Just, I mean, look, be honest with you. Just it's the energy of it. it. Could be someone walked away with your bank account, credit cards, maxed you out, ruined your debt, car. I mean, this kind of energy also uh, with this person. It would have been the tower coming down. I mean, it could literally be bankruptcy. <laughs> Tower. And the fool, this is your advice. You know, this is pretty badass advice. I don't know. This is advice from spirit. Don't yell at me. I gotta have a sip of tea. Mm -hmm. I've been fighting a monstrous science infection all week. It's a miracle that I survived. Thank you, spirit. And the help of my girlfriend is a nurse. <laughs> and my own perseverance. <laughs> and a Cipro. <laughs> but wow, the fool, guys. This is like just the universe is saying, just don't even sweat it. Just water off a duck. Just be like, thank you, Jesus, I'm alive. I've done this several times where I just left the relationship is what it was. 
And, you know, I felt, you know, sometimes it was a job. And maybe because I'm a Sag, but what a wonderful feeling this is. It's just like letting go of all expectations, you know, and just absolutely doing what feels like, you, what you feel like you want to do here. And this is the advice from the universe. Now let's look at your person here, their advice from the universe. The Queen of Swords. The advice to your person, if this helps you, I don't know. Um, but it, it, this reading is not really meant, but, you know, if you want, if you end up talking to them about it. But I think the advice from the universe would have been for the sake of their own karma. And I think for your sake, and I think you would agree, what you would have liked is for them to be more direct and honest with you about what was in their head. Instead of, you know, uh, pretending like they were solid, like they were solid. I get Libra energy. Maybe they were the Libra. It was somebody that just emotionally just couldn't deal with being real. <laughs> and that's their problem. So they, if they haven't learned that lesson, they need to. Um, and so now what can that do to you? So this happens at a time in your life that's crucial. You might have been a little bit uh, uh, older. Uh, beyond any imprinting properly from hormones, but maybe this was like your first serious relationship, so that has a big impact, you know, and it sort of plays into your mind as you go forward. You know, and here you have someone pretending to be something they're not and then betraying you, um, and you never really have closure about it because you really don't know uh, what was going on in their minds. And here's the thing, like whatever was going on in their minds, it was totally about them. You've got this, you've got the Knight of Cups. They were just in the shallow romance uh, phase uh, and probably younger, you know, not to make excuses. But the key thing here is the fool, you know. Uh, you can really just let go and just be like, you know, whatever it is you have to let go of, even something physical, you know. Other ways could be playing out, you know, you have some marriage thing going on. And you're, but you're, you know, but you're hanging on to it because of, there's can be many good reasons, practical Capricorn pinnacle reasons, uh, but maybe suddenly now you decide, you know, you get this Uranus transit and you got to be you and you're like, you know, damn it, you know, I'll even take a hit tower uh, so that I can get free <laughs> uh, and, and uh, be me, that kind of energy too. And the magician, just what I said, <laughs> and going back originally. Um, becoming anything you want to be. It's like with this kind of thing, it's almost like you wouldn't talk to them. You would want to put yourself in their place and, and role play and ask a friend to do it if you want to go that way. Uh, but even if you could just do it with yourself and you, you know what they would say, you know, and ask them any questions you want to ask, you know. But my sense of it was, you know, their feelings are just not running that deep. And yours were like very most likely this person here, Capricorn. They're not thinking of you, they're like you're thinking of them during Met Mercury retrograde. So whatever sign they are, uh, might be Libra here. Um, you know what? Uh, whatever reading I'm doing for them, it's not. They're not. You're not the one they're thinking. I have to tell you, you know um, that's the tower, and you know the the way to play. It, the universe is saying, saying, good, good. I'm free now. I do what I want to, and, you know, the next one doesn't have to be like this one, and you can make of it what you will, you know, you use your mind, sword, your resources, coins, even could be credit, even could be, you know, sales of things, uh, practical things, like moving into a cheaper place and having your rent, uh, in, in monthly income, uh, actions, taking actions, like moving into that place, like, you know, taking on a second job, like doing whatever has to be done, and emotionally being balanced and emotionally whole and able to sustain yourself very easily and feel comfortable in your own skin. And that's a magician in the core here. It means you can do anything you want here. And I just want to shuffle a little bit and ask spirit here um, for the outcome card for our Capricorns. To try to understand. Uh, let's pop out. I'm going to take it. Judgment. Yeah. Uh, it's such a profound card. Uh, something and goes with the fool. Goes with the magician, magician here. 
uh, there's something in yourself that you're ready now to step up to and realize about yourself some level of growth you know this is like being called up you know uh, by the angels called to duty think of it called to duty what is it with the judgment as the outcome in this heart spread capricorn that you feel called up to do like this is about your purpose because you have the magician and under judgment advice from spirit and outcome of this heart spread with this person that's on your mind and you know maybe in some way they helped you become the magician this person maybe that's what happened here but now it's in your hands and this is you being called up you know and this would take you this judgment if you make it you could say it's a judgment and it would take you to another place where you would be a level beyond this person or where they are in your mind if that makes any sense you know because you would move up uh, with judgment to you know god how can you say it a higher version of yourself you would manifest this is not about manifesting a relationship this is manifesting a relationship with yourself uh, completeness within yourself and when you have that again these things come up to show us where we're not complete where we need to get a little guidance uh, because it's always with this person that's on our minds always whatever it is we want from them it's what we need and you know uh, first house seventh house but thank you guys like share subscribe I do appreciate it a lot need the help thank you